Being here at school at Bluefield College, you're surrounded by mountains. I mean, hey, I even got this inspiration by looking at mountains. So what I want to tell you about today is mountaintop removal. Living around mountains, you see mountains every day. So people take them for granted. Like my family that lives just two hours from here. They say you're so blessed to live in this area and they always ask why. But could you imagine if each river mountain did not exist? I mean, for starters, I wouldn't have a place to live because the name of my dorm is called East River. I think that um, if we're more aware of mountaintop removal, people would be uh, more aware to help stop the destruction of mountains. To begin with, I'm going to show you this quick video for those of you that may not be aware of what mountaintop removal is. It's the environmental rate, that's all you can call it. destroying our way of life completely. Everything that the mountains meant to us has been destroyed. Since this land got disturbed by the coal and timber companies, we don't have hardly anything left. Just southwest of our nation's capital, one of the greatest human rights and environmental tragedies in American history First, we'll discuss the process of mountaintop removal. Mountaintop removal begins when large equipments come in and remove all the trees <coughs> and other debris that are there. Then, the mining companies come in to remove the coal, which is the primary reason that mountaintop removal exists. They use dynamite and blast away the beautiful mountain sides that we all look at every day. And then, layer by layer, they come in and they destroy all of the existing mountain. They push over the rocks and uh, into the streams and surrounding bodies of water, which re results to flooding, which is the next topic that I would like to, to discuss, is the results of the terrible mountaintop removing. In this video, I encourage you to watch it because it's an eight minute video, but it, it does a wonderful job explaining the results and catastrophes of the mountaintop removal. One woman in this video states how she moved into the one area like, I think she said it was like five miles from her parents' house. And uh, ever since she'd been living there, she was born there. But ever since they started doing mountaintop removal, like a few minutes from her house, she had floods every year. And to this day, she has had seven floods that have come and washed her house away. Now, Earth Justice states that over 2,000 miles of streams that provide drinking water to millions of Americans have been destroyed. A website called samsva.com has done a test by Michael Hendricks that stated that people living near mountaintop removal had higher rates of cancer of 14% and a higher rate of children with born with birth defects of 42%. The effects of mountaintop removal are detrimental for people that are living in the areas of destruction. When rock is pushed over the sides, the waste dams the bodies of water, causing a huge increase in flooding. Layer, so as they're doing layer by layer, many people have to evacuate their homes, which also results in a loss for jobs. Farmers and other agricultural businesses that are living in the areas are forced to move away, and they also lose their house. And many people have died as a result of mountaintop removal. In the process of the mountaintop removal, you know, a lot of the debris and other things is pushed down landing on their houses and a lot of, uh, that's why a lot of people are trying to stop them because they're very inconsiderate of the areas that are being destroyed. And in fact, um, many of you that live east or north of here, uh, there is, they're doing mountaintop removal right there on 81. And uh, in the, in the end of this video that I'll show to you um, shows that there are over 500 mountains that have been destroyed within the past five years. Mountaintop removal is a growing in source of that is uh, affecting hundreds of lives every day. Just being aware of mountaintop removal that is occurring is one of the biggest steps possible. Coal mining companies manage to hide the num numbers, numerous Americans uh, that are aware of the destruction of God's creations. Educate others about the effects of mountaintop removal. And finally, join organizations like I Love Mountains and fight against the destruction of mountains so years from now, people can enjoy the beauty as much as we have today. And I'll leave you with this last clip from this video that I found very shocking. Yeah.
It went a little too fast, so every single one of these flags was a mountain that has been destroyed by the coal mining industries. <laughs>